Oh my goodness. Why, what happened, Skipper? <gasps> oh my gosh. Skipper, your closet's like naked. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. What are we gonna do? I know today's the first day of college. I'm just kind of nervous. Gosh, I kind of miss high school, you know? No, I don't know. I hated high school, as you know. But, you know, college should be exciting. A brand new experience and new things to do, new people to meet too. Yeah, that might be cool for you, but like, not for me. Ugh. Rena, don't you remember? Remember what? Which people used to make fun of me in high school. It's like, people would always make me feel weird in high school. And then I would come back home, and until Barbie was old enough to allow us to move in, we had to live with our mom. And she's freaking back here. You know how toxic she is? Like, I'm sorry, I'm going on a whole emotional tangent. I'm just super emotional right now is all. Oh, Skipper. No. I'm just... I'm just really anxious, okay, Rena? Hopefully, me being here and comforting you and your whole room being surrounded by the extra stuff because I know how much you love Barbie Extra. Yeah, I do love the extra crew. Hopefully, all that can help cheer you up. Girls! Girls, what the devil is going on in here? Hey, Mrs. Roberts. Nothing. Uh... Skipper was just having an anxiety attack, and I was just comforting her is all. We're really excited for our first day of college. You were in here having an anxiety attack, Skipper? Is that true? Because you're scared of college? Uh, yeah, Mom. It's that thing that you'll understand, because all you'd like to do is, like, try to talk down to me, because I'm not blonde like you. But, like, oh... I'm allowed to have anxiety attacks, and best believe I was having one like a normal human being. So please, get out of my face. And go fix your hair. <sighs> you see all that nasty talk? This is why you weren't given our blonde genetics. You were blonde at one point, interestingly, but then you randomly turned into a dirty brunette. That's what you got. Speaking of blonde, let me go check on one my other favorite daughter who's actually blonde like me and barbie because it's not you and stacy oh no chelsea she's next in line to be like the third prettiest blondest person in this family so therefore she has a lot to live up to let me go see what she's up to your mom's kind of a dick she's like super annoying super Super stupid annoying. Huh. Well, oh my gosh. Skipper, wait a second. So, since today's the first day of college, do you think you want to do our annual first day of school thing where we have our slumber party over at your house? Mm. Oh my gosh. Why don't we just have a party here? The way your mom works, you want to have a party in your house with our permission? Are you crazy? Uh, yeah, I suppose you're right. Oh my gosh, all I want to do is be popular. Cooper, there's more to life than being popular, you know? Like, what? Yeah, but I've already set my mind to this, so once I set my mind to something, it's kind of impossible for me to, like, let it go, so, yeah. That is true, I've known you since you were little. That's very true of you. Um, hey guys, a uh, quick question. Do you know where Stacy is? What? She's not in her room. Well, she's not in her room, that's why I came here to ask you, silly. Do you know where she is or no? Uh, no, I, I haven't seen her. I mean, I, I, isn't she at soccer camp or something? Like, something? My god, Skipper. Like, you're the eldest child, and you're so irresponsible. Yes, she's at soccer camp. I actually came in here to find my friend's shoe because we're playing hide and seek. But, like, I also came in here to test your knowledge. You don't care about anything besides being popular every five seconds. Like, you've abandoned your duties as the eldest child. You're supposed to take care of us. God. Wow. It looks like everyone in your family is pretty intense.
My fault, I'm not fucking blonde anymore. It's Mattel's fault. They all just treat me funny because I'm not blonde. Sorry guys, I had to go check on Skipper. You know, I had to put her in check real quick. No worries, yeah, yeah. Hey Chelsea, do you want to play with my Sailor Moon doll? Yes, I love Sailor Moon. Huh? What was that, Miss Garcia? Oh my gosh. Hi, Mrs. Roberts. Yes. Unfortunately, Chelsea's having a little difficulty with reading comprehension, so I thought I'd just let you know it's because I'm going to have a conversation with her tomorrow and we're going to speak about it, but I just wanted to speak to you about it first. No worries, Miss Garcia. I'll take care of it as soon as I can. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I still can't find my shoe. I'm hungry. Um, Chelsea, do you think we can go get some cookies? Yeah, I don't see why not. Let's go get some. <laughs> oh, Chelsea, there you are. Hey, Mom, what's up? No, oh, sweetie. I just got off the phone with your teacher, Mrs. Garcia. I love Mrs. Garcia. What did she say about me? That you have reading comprehension. Why'd you whisper it? That is a shame. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm really trying. I mean, I sometimes words are just big for me, you know? Sometimes I get scared to pronounce certain things, and I get a funny feeling. Don't care about any of those excuses, young lady. Are you kidding me? Seriously, Chelsea? Do you not realize the color of hair that's growing from your head? It's platinum blonde, or it's some type of blonde. It's some freaking blonde. That's the same color as my hair and the same color as Barbie's hair. Do you know what it means? Means that you're destined to carry on the pink perfect blonde legacy. You are made for greatness. Why do you think we renamed you to Chelsea from freaking Kelly? But, but Barbie says it's okay for me to make mistakes sometimes. It, it's all about being human. She did? Oh, I'm going to have a juicy word with her when she returns in the hair salon. But until then, young lady, you are to go to your... Oh, don't mind me, Mrs. Roberts. I'm just taking some cookies. Sweetie, you go ahead and take as many as you like. And tell Janine to come get some cookies, too. None for you, Chelsea. What? But why? Because you've embarrassed me. You've embarrassed the family. And you've embarrassed yourself. Now go to your room and read every single book that lays there. Don't touch any toys, don't touch any phone, and definitely don't touch any TV. Go and read. Believe this. How dare she try to embarrass me? And the rest of the family. God. Oh God. I mean, hey, um, Janice, what's up? Why, hey there, Margaret. What you complaining about today? Is that stupid husband of yours that you know he wants me and you're forever mad at that? Oh, trust me, he's not even concerned about your existence, darling. Um, actually, today's perfectly fine. There's nothing for me to be complaining about. You know what I do have to appreciate about today, though? My hair appointment came out great. Do you see how so wingy and flowy my long blonde hair is? You could never. Isn't that crazy? Now get out of my face. Thank you. She thinks she's so perfect. I'm gonna get some dirt on her. Watch.